Hey everyone, welcome back into our Wednesday newscast. Mike Schultz with you once again taking a look at the weather. A little hazy today, but other than that, uh, not too bad. Temperatures weren't quite as warm as we were hoping for, but we're looking still at 70 degree temperatures on Friday. We'll tell you about that in just a little bit. Photograph night, sent in by Veronica Belton. We call this an interesting sky for obvious reasons. Nice cloud structure here, the sun shining through. And as always, if you have a photograph you want to share with us, by all means, send it to photos at ktvf11.com and we will share it with the rest of the audience. Your numbers look like this, the normal high 54, for today's high 57, normal low 31, last night's low 36, record high 76 in 2009. What a great day that was. Eight degrees for the overnight low in 1937 in your daylight time. 17 hours and four minutes over that 17 hour barrier. That's a nice thing. A gain of seven minutes from yesterday. Satellite radar, you can see the outer edges of the high pressure sitting right about here. Again, the high pressure. Everything running around clockwise, and again, the clouds over the top, but not a lot of moisture, so we're not looking for too much uh, rain or, or any kind of shower activity out of that. Foggy conditions over the southeast, showers along the Aleutian chain, and showers around Nome, and uh, warming up today in Barrow, 31 degrees for the high there. Lower 48 weather, that area of low pressure still spinning around, helping to create bands of moisture, and these uh, bands are bringing incredible amounts of rain. Pensacola, Florida, over 20 inches of rain in a 24-hour period. The NBC Nightly News will have a lot more on that for you. The good news is everything is starting to wind down, so things look a lot better. And as far as what's happening on the West Coast, record-challenging heat expected tomorrow. 80s and 90s up and down the West Coast, all the way from San Diego to Seattle. Hot temperatures, dry conditions, and unfortunately, uh, drying conditions mean a lot of opportunities for fires. The outlook for this weekend, some showers over the Pacific Northwest, building heat across the central plains, pleasant over the deep south, and some scattered showers over the northeast. Well, back to Alaska for tomorrow, the northern sections, freezing rain expected a barrel, rain and known, partly cloudy skies for Fort Yukon. Here in the interior, Less clouds, more sunshine, and temperatures warming back up again. And as far as the overnight, uh, or actually the southeastern sections, we're looking at temperatures in the mid-60s with lots of sunshine once again. Out to the southwest, it looks like uh, partly cloudy skies at Cold Bay, mostly sunny skies in Bethel, and also at Kodiak Island. And down around the Anchorage Bowl, mostly sunny skies for Anchorage and Homer, and sunny skies at Valdez. Okay, now as far as our kids' weather, once again, time to visit with the kids from Hunter elementary school and tonight we have a young lady with a question for me. Hi my name is Alicia. I'm in Mrs. Gurr's class at Hunter Elementary and here's my question for the weatherman. How many how much snow did we get this year? Believe it or not we only received 48 inches of snow this year. Our normal average is 70 to, uh, inches of snow, so we're way down below what we should be. Tomorrow night, the teacher will be here with a weather fact. And once again, time for our allergy report, brought to you by the folks at TVC. Absolutely no change as it has been for the last few days. Levels are high for the trees, and that's about it. Nothing else going on. Forecast for tonight, becoming partly cloudy, not as warm. 35 degrees for the overnight low. Tomorrow's forecast, up to around 70 degrees with more sunshine, less clouds. And the extended forecast looking really good. 72 on Friday. Temperatures hovering around the 70-degree mark all the way through the weekend. Overnight lows will also be very comfortable, looking at uh, temperatures right around the 40-degree mark each night. And overall, the overall weather pattern is not showing any signs of change right on through the middle of next week, guys.